Welcome to Animal House Calls on CP24 and on Animal Planet. We have such a great show for you. Help give a dog or a cat in need a Thanksgiving. Details on a pet food drive happening right here in Toronto. We are going to meet a senior chihuahua with special needs. She is beautiful. She's looking for a forever home. And, you know, it is cooler outside, so does that mean that pet owners have to worry about ticks and fleas? The answer, courtesy of our Ask the Vet segment, Dr. Judy Owl, Danforth Veterinary Clinic. She will also be taking your calls and answering your emails. First up, Vivi, Lincoln County Humane Society Rescue Group. That's a long name and a powerful name, and you do great work, and thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Our, the whole room, everybody has just fallen in love with Lil Lady. That's her name, Lil Lady, L-I-L Lady. L -L Lady. Yes. She's beautiful and she's very comfortable with you. Yes, she is. Um, I visit her every day. Yeah. I volunteer at the shelter um, and spend time with her, socialize her, take her outside. Let's talk about how she came to you. And I find this very distressing that she was a stray. Yes, yeah, she came to us as a stray. A member of the public uh, brought it to us. Um, this was about three weeks ago. Yeah. And, so, and nobody's come forward to claim no, so, her. Wow. Yeah. And what kind of condition, you know, we see her now. Yeah. She still looks a little rough, but what was it like for her? What was her condition when she, she was She was frightened. She didn't want to come towards us uh, the first couple of days. Um, she's still a little detached. She's opened up a little bit more. Um, she didn't eat the first day. Uh, we hand feed her right now. Uh, her teeth are very, very bad. She's just got two teeth. <laughs> Little <laughs> Um Yeah. So tomorrow we're doing a dental on her. Um, so um, it appears that she was neglected. Definitely. And then definitely set out to fend for herself, perhaps. I mean, I'm maybe That's stretching probably. it a bit, but boy, it doesn't look as if she's only ten. Well, at and this for age, a little dog, yeah. it, they, they she's not really too senior. She's kind of mid to senior. And she looks so much older, and I'm sorry to say that. Is there a chance that with lots of love, good nutrition, good dental, great care by a veterinarian, but a, a back to the big love from a guardian, Definitely. That, that she can come around? Definitely. I've always had rescue dogs. I've always taken rescue dogs. And the, the difference within a matter of days is amazing. So she will open up. She already does. I spend time with her in the kennel, and she lays on her back. For me to give a belly rub. That's a sign yes. of trust. You yes. know, they don't expose their bellies, yes. yeah. cats or dogs, unless yeah. they trust you. And so. she didn't do that in the beginning. It was no. kind of like, you know, do I, I don't know you yet. So you yes, know, I, I just up. cannot understand how people can get rid of of a little heartbeat like this. You know, I just it, it just doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But thankfully, someone found her, and she's in your good care. Yes. Now, will she have the final two teeth removed? Do you think? We believe so. Yes. They're pretty and, yellow. Yeah, she'll be able to eat. It'll yeah. be soft food. And the tongue yes. does hang out. I think it it's adorable. Yes. I'm sure she doesn't really <laughs> feel that way. But is there an issue with that? Is that it dries out, or is she pretty good about pulling no, it in? No, she pulls it in. She'll pull it in. Yeah. <laughs> she's a good they, they usually pull it in, and then come back out again <laughs> she maybe doesn't hear all that well how's her eyesight it's not amazing but she does see better than she hears I think she's she, she sees us she doesn't hear at all can she walk on a leash uh, yes, yeah, she can walk on a leash. Um, she's still a little skittish, so if she's left alone, she can just run away. That's why I yeah. think she wasn't really socialized. She didn't have a lot of human contact before. That's what I'm thinking. Do you think it would make sense to, you know, you think about the kind of person or the family that would adopt her, that she might become more of an indoor dog than, than we might expect a oh, little dog to be definitely. using a pee pad or, or, you know, the dog version of a litter box. Actually, <laughs> she doesn't like dirtying her kennel, so oh, she will hold so it, good. yes. But she, she will go like, outside to do that. She will go outside, yes. yes. But yeah. doesn't necessarily need long walks. She just needs to be no. held. <laughs> no, she needs to be held, um, and she needs her person. She gets very excited when she sees her person. Yeah. So let's then imagine what would be the perfect situation in your mind uh, as far as who who could and should adopt her? Um, a home where it's quieter, not a lot of uh, coming and going, uh, maybe an adult-only home, um, or older kids, uh, lots of TLC, yeah. 
lots of cuddle time. I'm a so. great believer in adopting a, an animal that's similar to you. So maybe a, a lovely retired person, a man or woman or a couple. Perfect. That they're at home and they don't, they just love to hold her. Hold her because she likes being held, exactly. Just yeah. take her for a little walkies yep. and just have her sleep on the couch with you. It sounds fantastic. <laughs> so uh, the rescue group, this is a, an arm of the Lincoln County Humane yes, Society. Yes, it is. So tell me about that. I started it um, in 2013 and the reason why was because we have a lot of dogs with uh, behavior concerns and health concerns. Um, the, the Lincoln County Humane Society doesn't always have the resources. Um, as a volunteer, I'm able to invest more time to do this because staff are always busy, to, there's so much going on. Um, so what we do is um, dogs who do have behavior concerns like maybe food aggression or stranger danger, we find homes for them. We're always looking for foster homes to help us train and, uh, and guide these dogs to become more adoptable and, uh, you know, members of the community where, you know, they can, they can thrive in a family because they've been trained. Yeah. We don't have those resources in a, in a shelter. But it's you do now through your through group, but you've group. started. Yes. That's yes. fantastic. Yeah. Good for you. And we raise funds um, to have money to pay for, like her vet bill tomorrow will be close to like $200. So, you know, that, that uh, part of the, 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 the money that we raise goes to health concerns for things like dentals, yeah. surgery. We just uh, did a surgery on a mastiff cross, a knee surgery. So we're always looking for a friend's I know she's looking. Well, it's wonderful. <laughs> and it gives, it gives her the chance to be adopted and all yes. the other animals. You're fantastic. Thank, thank you. you for starting that group. Oh, thank, thank you for bringing you. in Little Lady. You oh caught your, something caught some, your eye. Yes, I, think she, <laughs> I love that. She's all perky yeah, she's and she's perked beautiful. Up and she even spoke. <laughs> she looks like a little Sheltie to me. Thank oh. you very much for being with us. Thank and little you. Lady, it's an honor to meet you. An honor to meet you too. Thank you. Thank you for Thank saying you. that.